What's going on guys, it's Master Jack and today I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D text on iOS. So you need two apps, one of them is for Fonto, it's free on the App Store on PS Touch. Um, this one is actually paid for $5, anyway, so this, this tutorial works on either iOS or Android, so um, yeah, if you have an Android device, this will still work for you. So you can open Fonto, go to um, add a new image, but it's going to be plain, so you're going to select the white one and then press use. And you're gonna add a text right here. Um, so I'm just gonna just type in hunger. I mean, whatever it's gonna be. So this is a tutorial. Um, also, if you're on the phone, I'm using the uh, Obelix phone, which I'm gonna link it in the description below if you want to use that too. So actually, this was found by Cat and Ryan Graphics, so I'm gonna link the video and his channel in the description below. So, um. I just this is really cool. You're gonna make go to the stroke section. I, I'm so sorry. I just did this really quick. You can add a text. Tap on hunger, and you're gonna go to move, and then you can tap on the ace, all all to ace, and now you're gonna go to style, and make the um go to stroke and make the alpha a uh, max, and the width gonna be three. Now what you're gonna do? Okay. Anyways, so you're gonna go back to the color or text section. Now you're gonna go to click create color pattern, which is down here, right here. And you're gonna make the horizon, whatever that says, make it vertical. Um. So now the first color gonna be red, whatever you want. I actually, it's just your choice. You can choose any color you want. Now that's all done with Fonto. You're gonna now go to save, just save the image right here. And we are now going to uh, Photoshop Touch. So what you can do in Photoshop Touch is actually go to tap on the photo and then photo library. And then choose the text you just made. And now we can actually make a tap on the layers button down there and tap on plus, tap on duplicate layer. Not actually duplicate, I just made a mistake right there. You can tap on empty layer and make, move the empty layer. Um, to down, may, may move it down. Now you can duplicate the uh, text layer. And after that, you're gonna go to the second layer. First of all, actually, you gotta uh, go to the tap of the magic wand, like right here. Now you're gonna actually select all the white background. We're gonna cut all these. And after we cut it, we are now going to. Uh, go to the second layer. Now we're gonna deselect by just tapping on the uh, these backgrounds right here. Like you just tap on somewhere right here, and this does load. Okay. Anyways, so now what you're gonna do is actually go to uh, go to this uh, button. Where is it? This button right here. Tap on select pixel, and now what you're going to do is go to. Oh my gosh. I just deselected it, sorry guys. So now what you're going to do, press on the add up there, press on fill fill and stroke, and you're gonna make the type fill and make the color black. Now we have the second layer all of it black. You're just gonna go back to the first layer. We're gonna go to the first layer and um we're gonna add a bevel to it. Now after that, after you added the bevel to it. You are going to make it actually any color you want. I'm just going to make it black. You can um, uh, make the blur more, but I'm not going to make it. Uh, just leave it like on like 8 because that's just good for it. Now, what you're going to do is just press on the check mark. You don't really need to do that much stuff on this bevel, whatever that is. Now, as you can see, we just made this 3D text right here. Um, it's really easy. But you can see some uh, white uh, stuff. So to fix that, you're just gonna go to the first layer. Make sure you are sele you selected the first layer. You're gonna go to fill and stroke. You're gonna go to stroke. Make the type stroke. Make the color black and make the width four. And that should fix it. Which I'm gonna show you right here. As you can see, it's fixed it. And uh, it fixed it. And um, yeah. So there's some white 
background like on the R or A because there's sometimes like on that because it's in the text so you're just gonna basically just select it and uh call it those. that's pretty much it you just made it 3d text you're just gonna press done and press save now what you're gonna do is tap on the share button down there tap on save camera roll make the project we saved as png tap the folder you want just press ok and it should um save it to your camera so that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped you making 3d text and uh yeah that's pretty much for this video i hope you guys enjoyed um so uh yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next video peace out